video going to quickly uh, chat about how to set up transfer. So I've got a slightly older Mac here and I want to transfer my user files, um, applications, and of course all my data to this new one here. And uh, I'm going to use a built-in um, software called Migration Assistant. Uh, they're both connected to my Wi-Fi. So uh, make sure that, you know, obviously they're both on the same Wi-Fi and then you can get ready to go. Keep in mind that if you have a ton of data like I do, it's not going to be an hour process. It may literally be 12 hours. It could be 24 hours. It just depends on how much data and it depends on your Wi-Fi signal. So be sure you're close to your router. That will absolutely help. If your router is on the basement and you're on the third floor, recommend you move to that basement area both of the units the transferring and the one receiving and get started there so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up migration assistant i'm going to just open up here as well and uh, then you're going to hit continue and it basically says hey i'm migration assistant i'm going to set up um application so that way you can transfer your data and as soon as you do that it logs the computers out so that way it can transfer a program so they're not running and then it asks you which is which in other words what are you transferring program from here or are you transferring programs from here right so which is the source which is the destination so in this case this is where it's being the destination so I'm going to say it's how do you want to transfer your information so this one is from a Mac time machine backup or startup so I'm saying I'm gonna transfer data to you from a Mac right and then on the right hand side this is the source so it's gonna say how do you want to transfer your information I'm gonna say well I want to transfer it to another Mac be sure you understand this carefully because what you don't want to do is have a it's flip-flop it you might waste a lot of time and you'll get the account on the wrong one so then you hit continue and what's happening right now is they're both trying to find each other on the network. So you can see this guy who started a little ahead said, hey, I found one. I just found this MacBook Pro. So I'm just going to hit continue. And look, lo and lo behold, it pops up. It's an identification number that says, are these two numbers the same? And you notice um, you can't press anything on the destination one. You have to go to the source because, again, you're giving permission for this guy to transfer all of its data. So you hit continue. And really, that's it. It's, it's very simple. It's very intuitive. It's well designed. So I'm just going to sit back and you're going to wait. What's going to happen is um, the computer here, the source, it's going to look at the data, the applications, the programs that it has, and it's going to start figuring out the size and how to send them over. And you can see on this end over here, it's got applications, it's got all the user accounts. In this case, it's just me, my user account. And it talks about other files and folders and computer and network settings. So that way, if you know your old computer, you know you were using it at all these different places and you had the password saved and everything and you're perfect, you're good to go, now your new computer will have it. So you can go traveling and all of that network configuration sticks with you. So pretty cool. And then of course, it's got the data and look at the size, right? I mean. I don't even know what's eating up that much, but it is 188 gigs of um, data. Uh, other files and folders, 87 megabytes, and uh, application, zero kilobytes. I'm not sure what that means. I have, oh, there it is. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's still calculating. So I think once it's done, um, I'll be able to hit continue. So we'll see how long that takes. Hopefully that won't take too long. Um, I believe if you get the network adapter, you can plug both of them into USB-C. So that's this guy here. That's the type of connection. So you need a dongle like, like this, although one that has network. And you can plug it in and put it, uh, plug that into the network. That might be more stable, but, you know, honestly, so many people at their homes, you, you don't have network cables and USB dongles that are like 40 bucks a piece. Thank you, Apple. So instead, this is really an alternative way uh, for this to work. So uh, I'm going to wait here. Hopefully it won't take too much longer. It looks like it just got done. So it's giving you an, uh, an approximate level of uh, how much data is going to be transferred. If you did not want to transfer a user account, so right now I've only got one user account. If you did not want to transfer that, you would just uncheck this box. So for example, if I didn't want network 
uh, sorry, computer and network settings, I would just uncheck it. And that means that it will not come over to this computer. If you click down on these arrows, you get a ton of options files, folders, so you can say, well, I do want computers, but I don't need the printers of all the ones I already have. And that goes the same for files and folders. If you don't need something um, transferred, you can say fine. And you can see there's a ton of, uh, you can see there's a ton of um, storage in a lot of these. So work computers take a lot of storage, so not surprising. And if you want uh, applications uh, not transferred, you just simply uncheck it and now that won't transfer. If you do want it transferred, go ahead and just click it. When you're done and you figure it out, everything you want transferred, in my case, I'm just gonna say, basically give me an exact copy. I'm gonna say next, or I will click next, and it asks for, do you wanna secure the password? Ah, it's gonna force me to, so give me one second here. Okay, so set password. I'm gonna say yes, I'll set the password. Uh, I will click continue. It says in order to add new users to the system, we need to collect a password from an existing user who are, is already authorized. All right, so basically what it's saying is, we know you, know, you just approved this computer because you're the admin. Now we need to prove that you're the admin of this computer and that you're authorized to transfer data to this guy. Okay, fine, so let me enter the password for this guy. Okay, so Zeus is up and running. Apologies for the glare. So we hit continue here. And there we go. So it talks, uh, sorry. So it, what it's saying is it's transferring from here to this particular Mac and it's gonna go through a tremendous amount of time. Right now, um, you know, right, right now it's just two minutes remaining. Obviously it's going to increase so I don't know you know this is only as reliable as as uh, well it's not reliable at all it, once it starts cataloging and aggregating all the data you'll you'll see that time increase a lot there you go to four hours uh, it is nice that it's got a little network speed here so you know you are on Wi-Fi if you started this upstairs make sure you're plugged in but you could um, move it closer to your Wi-Fi if you needed to one thing of note uh, be sure that both of these are plugged in. This is the power adapter for this one. And I've got the power adapter for this one. You're not going to be able to run this baby on batteries and expect that it's going to be done. What will happen is you'll end up transferring only a little bit and most likely this thing will just shut down if it runs out of power. You don't want to do that. You'll have to probably restart all over and that's never a good thing. So I'll go ahead and continue this transfer. As I mentioned, it's going to take a while. And uh, what's kind of interesting is it's actually replicating the information on this guy as well. It actually says, hey, there you go. It's uh, you know gonna take uh, about an hour. So again, it's gonna take way longer than that, but there you go. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you'd like to uh, make suggestions on videos. Have a great one.